In this social network traffic video, we're going to be looking at Caboodle, and it's a site that is growing and growing and growing on the internet. It's titled here, as you can see, Shopping is More Fun with Friends, Share Recommendations and Discover New Things from the Community. Um, discover things from people with similar taste and style, recommend and discuss your favorite products and stores, simplify your life with wish lists and shopping lists. It shows you latest popular searches, it shows you hot picks, it shows you featured people, it shows you opinion polls, so for example, this person saying, you know, which one should they get to their boyfriend's birthday, should they get this or should they get this, I mean there's, there are different opinion polls, you can create your own. So why is this useful to you? Well, first of all, um, you can see what people are searching for, you know, what's popular items. And if you then created sites and had suggested lists or suggested sites where you can purchase those products from, whether it's through your site as an affiliate, or perhaps you've even got your own online store, you're selling products, maybe you are selling iPods, maybe you are selling homemade jewellery. Um, you've got to think outside the box here and how it can relate to what you're promoting from your website. Again, this is about getting traffic to your site. So by feeding the nation with your information, uh, you could be picking up a lot of uh, traffic this way because people love to shop. It's unfortunate but true. Give you an idea here. I'm going to go back to a, a recent page we just looked at. And you can see here that someone was looking for chocolate. And as you can see, here's a, a company called Designs by Shemaine. Established in May of 2005, it's a business that caters for the individual where they create chocolates and or jewellery from any occasion. And made to order, la la la, see more. So you can click to see the whole story. And it's got tags, and then it's got the link. So you click it, and it opens a brand new page to that particular website. Now, you know, some people will say this is a lovely looking, little looking website. Others will say, well, yeah, you know, it could do with some work. So but they're using the process of advertising their services through Caboodle. So you could be using this for your websites. So bear that in mind. So how do you join up? Well, you go to the front page and it says here, join now. So we hit join now. And we enter our email, our screen name and our password. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once we've filled out that information, we just hit sign me up. And in a good tradition of um, viral marketing, they've set it up so that you can start by inviting your friends. So if you want to, you can go to your address book of Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo or AOL and invite people you know. Or you can just type in people by hand. Or, as you can see, a tiny little bit in the corner, we can skip this step. Let's skip this step, but you can put in information here if you wish. Spiff up your profile, so add a picture about yourself, put in your first name, add some personal tags, add your own tags, and then continue. So, here, as it says, to help you find and connect with similar people, select the words to describe the other things you like, and your own in the box below. So, you can add more tags here about things you like, or you do a separate each tag with a comma, fill out the profile and hit next. So we'll do that now. So once we've added a picture, our name and some tags, we just hit continue. And then get the buttons to start caboodling. So these nifty toolbar buttons let you add things to caboodle with one simple click. So just add the click add caboodle button and you can then add anything to the caboodle from any website. So let's hit get the buttons. And the best way is to set it up with Firefox. Now I'm using Firefox as opposed to Internet Explorer. And as it says here, you just get the download extension. So you click that here. Um, and you can also, if you prefer not to use the extension, you can manually set up Caboodle bookmarks. You just drag this link to your bookmarks toolbar. And drag this link to your toolbar and then you're done. But let's put the extension in. Oh. So we'll allow it. Close, try again. There we go, and it's now going to set it up. So we put install, and it will ask me in a to-do fashion of Firefox to restart. So we say, yep, fine. 
and then once you've done that you're ready to go you can start using Caboodle once you set it up as you can see you've got um, your profile you've got lists and click here and there's no public list at the moment we can go to friends groups comments polls so let's go back to profile home and here it's got some personal tags. If I clicked, um, let's say, for example, let's tick computers. Let's click on computers as my personal tag. It's now going to bring up other people that have um, a similar interest to me. So I could um, perhaps invite those people and gradually get them onto my site if, of course, I've got interest that um, they want to then share. So there's a way of building traffic and people to your list as well, and making friends and speaking to people. If we went to look for, say, uh, let's search for items on blogging, you can see there's links here in blogging. And look at this one, blogging for profit. So let's click that. And it's a site promoting how to make money from blogging. See, so it's a way that you can get people to find your website. And obviously, this has got lots of information on it. And that's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for ways of getting people to your site. So, I'll we'll go back to a profile. So, the idea is here we want to start adding content, we want to add web links um, that other people find and you can put in comments here and you can add sites if I just bring it down here for you for a second what you do here is when you find a site if you want to go to the main Caboodle site you just hit Caboodle and it'll take you to the home this is the extension once you've plugged it in and if you want to uh, if it's a site you'd like the look of so let's say let's add a blog here And rather than just perhaps the blog, let's go find a specific page on this blog. And we'll then add it to Caboodle so it's actually added to the site. So let's say we're going to put in um, a work at home. Let's, let's put an Ask the Editor. Let's click that one. So we've got a page up about asking the editor from the site. And we're now going to add that. So we just hit the add to caboodle and it's adding select from my lists so you can put it into gadgets and gizmos gift ideas if I had a million dollars my closet favorite movies wish list style and fashion or you can create a new list so if I hit create a new list List name, make it public, make it top picks, add your comment, um, awesome site with great information on how to work from home. Tags, so you want to make it tags. just add tags to it which will help people cite for finding it and then hit submit and it's successfully added so now we can go back to Caboodle and we can see that recent list and profile we can check the site so if we click that it has an image and there's some information here and there's bits and pieces and if people are interested in the question and they see the different tags they click more they can read it they can see the whole article it's, t it's taken the whole article and they can then click onto this site as I showed you the last one so that's how you can get traffic to your site very quickly and as you can see signing up to Caboodle took a, a few seconds nice and easy to use great tool for getting traffic but again make sure you focus it on your niche because that's how you want to get people to know you and know you by so they start coming to your websites
as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.